And hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Wondershirt Dr. Phone. In this video, we're going to focus on how to reset a disabled iPad. And before we start, do make sure to hit that like button and subscribe across our YouTube channel. And if you look forward to frequent updates just like this, then do make sure to hit that notification bell because there are going to be plenty coming up moving forward. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So for part one, the top three ways to fix the iPad disabled, it is time for us to discuss the top three ways on how to reset a disabled iPad. Beginning with fix number one, using iCloud to unlock your disabled iPad. So iCloud would be the platform that you should firstly consider for unlocking your disabled iPad. Although it is quite cohesive in resolving the issue, please do remember your iCloud credentials for its successful execution. So step one is just going to be to access the official website of iCloud and then log in with your credentials of your account that are synchronized with the disabled iPad. And on the homepage, access the Find My iPhone option and then proceed into the next window. Then go ahead and tap on the All Devices button on the next window to select your iPad that is going to be unlocked. And once you select your iPad, do proceed to erase your, your device by clicking on the Erase iPad option. Your iPad will be restored to its factory settings from there. So fix number two is is going to be to try using iTunes slash Finder to unlock your disabled iPad. And if you do not remember the credentials of your iCloud account for unlocking your disabled iPad, we recommend using iTunes slash Finder for it. So just go ahead and follow the steps provided further to unlocking your disabled iPad. So step one is just going to be to go ahead and shut down your iPad and then proceed to put it to recovery mode after connecting it to your computer. For this, you need to understand that if you own an iPad with the home button, you need to press and hold the home and power button of your iPad simultaneously until the Apple logo appears on your screen. And if you own an iPad without a home button, in such cases, you need to go ahead and tap on the volume up button followed by the volume down button and then press and hold the power button until the Apple logo appears on your screen. And once your iPad is finally in recovery mode, go ahead and open iTunes or Finder on your device and then go ahead and click on the iPad icon or name appearing on the top left corner of the screen. A pop-up is going to appear showing problem with your iPad which can be resolved by updating or restoring it. Click on restore and then confirm your choice. Uh, the device restores in just a few minutes and is ready to go after restarting automatically. And finally for fix number three, use Dr. Phone screen unlock for iOS and efficient results. And the last solution that you will consider here for proper results is going to be Dr. Phone screen unlock for iOS. And it covers all major types of lock screen options for it. To understand how you're going to use it, go ahead and follow the steps that I'm going to give you right now. So firstly, I do make sure that you download the latest version of Dr. Phone on your device. And once installed, you just need to launch the tool and then select screen unlock from the main menu. And connect your disabled iPad to the computer through a lightning cable or USB-C cable, depending which one you have. And then successfully go ahead and select unlock iOS screen from the available option. And you will then need to boot your iPad device for executing the process further. So boot up your device into recovery mode or DFE mode as it's also known and then follow these instructions that you're going to be seeing on screen in order to make that happen. So once your device is in DFE mode, I will display the device information including the model and the system version. After you ensure that the information is all correct all across, click on start and then the download will begin for the new firmware automatically. As a firmware downloads successfully, I just start the process by clicking the option of unlock now on the next screen and then the process executes successfully in no time at all. So part two is just going to be reasons for why the iPad gets disabled. And as you've known how to reset your disabled iPad and now you should know about the reasons as to why that happened so that you can avoid it in the future. So one potentially major reason for such incidents usually occurs when you forget your iPad passcode and you will see the iPad is disabled. So try again in one minute, for example, message if you answer the password five consecutive times and you get it wrong. And if you enter eight incorrect passcode entries, then the message updates to iPad is disabled. Try again in 15 minutes. On nine wrong entries, the message changes to the iPad disabled. Try again in 60 minutes. And when you enter the 10th wrong passcode entry, the message will change to this iPad is disabled. Connect to iTunes. This is when you'd have to consider the techniques for unlocking your iPad successfully. However, we do advise you to be more careful with handling your iPad 
if you do not remember your passcode. And this is it. We are at the very end of the video and we hope that you've noted all of the major methods that can be used in order to fix your disabled iPad. We will be answering your queries in the comment section, of course, so do make sure to leave us a comment and make sure to follow us for more great videos just like this. Hit the like button if you think that we did a good job. And with that said, until next time, enjoy.